Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be talking about five mistakes that you are doing in Jira. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Drop a like if you get a value out of this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. We are going to be doing this list in reverse order. So we're going to start off with number five and work our way to the number one mistake you are doing in Jira. So at coming in at number five, we are going to have not using GitHub or Git integrations with Jira. If you are not connecting your Git with Jira, you are making a huge mistake. Having this integration gives you and your team a ton of visibility, a ton of insight into what is happening at the developer's code level. This is very, very important to track progress. This is very important to track bottlenecks and impediments. You will see when PRs are not being approved. You will see when code reviews aren't happening because your PRs are going to stay open. Your commits are not going to be happening. You can be able to see that stuff. So it's very, very critical that you connect your source code management system with Jira so you can have that extra layer of visibility. Number four, having a workflow that is overly complex. Now I am talking about teams that have 50 steps in their workflow and single unidirectional transitions that only allow you to go one way. If you have more than six or seven statuses in your workflow, I would say your workflow is way, way too complex. Additionally, if you're not using the dash all transition, your workflow is overly complex. You should be giving your team autonomy to be able to make the decisions they need to make. Just guide them with process, guide them with education and training as to how to use the workflow correctly. Don't overcompensate by not communicating with your team by creating this very, very rigid workflow that basically becomes impossible to use because you have so many checks and balances built into the workflow that your developers just get overwhelmed with the number of rules that are set in place. So don't make that mistake. Number three, not using story points. Estimating is hard. A lot of teams shy away from estimating because it's controversial, it's hard, it's mentally taxing, it takes time during your sprint planning. And most of the time it ends up in confrontations because people just can't agree on what these story points, how they work, what they mean, and how they should be used. So the easiest solution is to basically not use story points. Don't make this mistake. Always, always, always encourage the use of story points because the insight that you get with using story points far outweighs the cons. And if you do have cons, it just means you have a miscommunication problem and it just means you have a deeper problem at hand that you and your team should be addressing and you should not be blaming your communication problems on Jira. Number two, not appropriately leveraging epics, components, and releases and other fields to bucketize your data. Not every story is created equal not every task is created equal, and Jira gives you a ton of resources to manage and organize your work. If you are not leveraging epics, if you're not leveraging components or releases, you are really, really missing out on being able to effectively letting the tool help you make strategic decisions. The priority components releases, all of these are fields that help you organize and bucketize and essentially determine what your team needs to be working on and over communicate the importance and the why as to why your teams are working on the things that they're working on. And finally, number one, the number one mistake you're doing with Jira is if you have a business project or a team managed project and you are an agile team doing scrum, you are making a huge, huge, huge mistake. One, if you're in the business type, you won't have a backlog. You won't have your active sprint. So right there, right out of the gate, you can't even be scrum. Second, if you're on a team managed project, while you do have a backlog, you do have a board, you do have pretty much your sprints. It is just very restrictive. It doesn't give you the creative freedom that you need to be able to help your team really shine. And so this is mistake number one. This is the top mistake that most of my teams make. They try to practice scrum using a team managed project. And this is great. This is great to practice Scrum, but the second that your executive teams want to have visibility into what your Scrum team is doing, 
and not only your team but other teams this whole process just breaks down and it gets crippled. You cannot include team managed projects in an advanced roadmap. The advanced roadmaps gives you a holistic 30,000 foot view of what all the teams across your organization are doing. And typically this team managed project will cripple your team because the communication barriers are so high up that you essentially create all these silos with your projects. So break down the silos, break down the barriers, improve your communication and always, always, always go blue and pick a company managed project. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section, which mistake are you doing in Jira? Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.